Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is um, a question I get often and I'm going to extend it to more than just the operating system. So as Windows 11 is coming, some of you are asking me, you know, when it's officially going to be released, should I install it immediately um, when it's available or should I wait? And of course, um, one of the things, and it's been true um, very often on most Windows operating system over time, that uh, waiting is not necessarily a bad thing because the first uh, version of a new operating system might have more bugs than when it's been rolling out for you know several months where all the bugs are been detected and fixed. So of course, uh, it's all up to you. Honestly, I am the one that's going to install it um, day one, but that's me. And also it has to do with the videos that I do. But we can say that it's true for almost any new version of a big software, Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, um, whatever new program that you might have, Microsoft Office new version and, and so on. Uh, waiting for um, you know, a little bit before we install something new is always the case for pretty much everything. It's true for even other platforms like Mac operating systems and Linux. The first iteration of an operating system often is a little buggier than it will be after a certain amount of time. Uh, that's always been. Overall, though, um, I've got to say that even though, yes, probably a little bit more problems at the beginning, most Windows versions um, have been pretty stable even from the start. Uh, Windows 11 and the Insider Rings for me is extremely stable. And that's, I think, an example that it will be probably a very uh, stable system when it's out. Um, one of the things also about the operating systems is that some a lot of the complaints and the problems at the beginning are not necessarily related to the operating system itself having problems, but a lot of you know regular folks that don't understand that much technology will blame Windows for a printer that doesn't work or some device that stopped working. When in reality, it's mostly because the manufacturer didn't do any drivers to make it work. So yes, there probably is a little more bugs at the beginning of an operating system, but a lot of the complaints also probably come from software that's not up to date and doesn't work anymore or doesn't work right. Uh, and like I said, hardware that doesn't have updated drivers. And that in that case is not really a Windows problem, but it's mostly the manufacturer of that software, that hardware that should do its job and update. And of course, manufacturers are slow at updating because often they prefer you to buy something new than to keep that old, you know, eight year old printer. But um, that is, of course, accounts for a lot of the problems that are are given to Windows, but that in reality, Windows has nothing to do with except that, you know, some new core of the operating system means there needs to be an update for the software. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.